Cynthia on live. Hey guys, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining in. I'm gonna push this back a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. I'm feeling just a little bit better now. Coming up, coming up. So I want to jump on tonight. I thank you guys for joining in on tonight. Um, I've got a question for you. Let me turn this Is music your down. Fast or just fast enough? I have been like totally under the weather, like my tooth, I have a bad toothache, and what are they, what, what are all your titles? Okay, well my title is, um, hey Tamisha for me, my title is, I'm going to be talking a lot tonight about what's on the inside must come out. And so what that means is a lot of times, you know, we have, well, before I get started, for those of you who do not know me, I am Tanisha Bibbs. I'm a licensed cosmetologist educator. I'm also a certified hair loss practitioner. And um, tonight we're going to be talking about uh, nutrition. And what is your title? Slow down. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tanisha Bibbs. I'm a licensed cosmetologist educator. I'm also a certified hair loss practitioner. And tonight what we're going to be talking about is um, nutrition. Thank you. Uh, nutrition. And so what happened is a lot of times what we put on the inside of our bodies uh, comes out through, you know, I know you heard the term through our pores, but it comes out through our follicles and through our hair. So a lot of times to have an effect on hair loss. OK, um, <clears throat> we are so prone in this generation to go to fast food, eat lots of sugar, processed food, um, filled up with dairy, like dairy diet plans and things like that. Also meat and daily products, it will clog and, well, basically it will clog our system. Yeah, it will clog our system. And this is due to high demands of refined or processed foods. So a lot of times it's what we're putting in our body that have an effect on our grow, growth of hair. So a lot of times we'll say, well, why is my hair not growing? Um, and, and that could be a factor. I mean, that could be one of the factors that you're not eating healthy. Um, and even if you are eating healthy, you might not be getting a lot of the nutritional things that you need uh, to eat healthy. Um, and also one of the things are, as we say, okay, if we're not eating our apples, fruits, and vegetables, because, you know, apples and stuff is filled up with a lot of sugar, uh, we'll go to Walmart and Target and Walgreens, and we'll just pick up the little pill bottle, uh, the daily, you know, a day, one a day, and we think that we're actually getting the vitamins and the nutrients that we need. But a lot of times when you take that pill, you put it into your system, it takes three to six hours to build up. In other words, it really ain't gonna be, it's not really building up. What happened is, is that with all of the acids and the things that it got to go through, flow through all of that, once it reaches your stomach, it will lose all of the nutrients. You will not get all of the vitamins that you need. You will not get uh, none of the proteins or whatever you're putting in your body. It's not there. So what happened is, is that I use a system called isotonics. I'm not going to talk about isotonics tonight, but I'll talk about that um, another night. But Isotonics is nothing more than powders that um, you put in your system and you'll get 95% of the nutrients six minutes after you take it. So just I want you to kind of be cautious of when you are taking those one a day pills that they, you might not be getting the nutrients that you need because you may be still tired. You may still have a lot of things going on. So as a rule, we eat more because our bodies require more food to receive the same nutrients. We take in more calories, but we are still not sufficiently nourished because of the fact that you know, we're not taking our daily doses of um, nutrients, minerals, and things like that on a daily basis. Vitamins, minerals, plants, and vegetable oils, moisturizing products, and protein substance are top, typically um, helps us for nourishment, to protect, and also to groom the hair necessary, okay? So you're going to need the vitamins in your system. You're going to need the minerals in your system, plants, and also vegetable oils and things like that to help nourish your hair, all right? Um, there, are, there are second only to daily nutrients required that we need to maintain a healthy scalp and hair, Okay, I'm going to tell you what those are. They are whole foods. What are whole foods? They are food prepared or eaten in a natural state. They are unprocessed or refined. refined okay, they are generally 
Um, they are generally not added, uh, no added salt, no added carbohydrates or fats. And they are also foods that grow closest to the ground. All right. So three main reasons to eat your whole foods is going to give you that nutrients that you need. It's also going to help with your healthy hair growth is is a natural source of dietary supplements. It's also good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you. A greater source of more complex of micronutrients. OK, it's also excellent source of dietary fibers, which keeps the colon clean and the body system strong. OK, um, you know, a lot of times, even with our whole foods, we still want to make sure that we're getting all of those nutrients and all, cleaning out all of our system and, and things like that. So you want to do a detox every now and then you want to do maybe a seven or five day detox. And once you do that detox, then you can put the nutrients that you need in your hair. You take make sure you take your vitamins. Um, but I'm not going to go into isotonics um, tonight. It's just a little bit too much complex. I'll probably go into it a little bit tomorrow. Um, you also need um, um, grown vegetables such as fruits, plants, and other food substance that's going to help to maintain that healthy hair growth um, in your hair. Wheatgrass is a powerful detoxifier for the liver and the blood. A lot of times when you have things going on with your liver liver or your blood, you will see it in your hair. You will see it in your follicles. We will be able to see it under a scope. All right. Um, super antioxidants that neutralizes environment sensors that are directly absorbed into the circulatory system to nourish the blood okay so and super antioxidants are very important for your body all right even like right now like if you have different types of inflammations antioxidants are good for your body okay um also aki Berry. I don't know if I said that right. I think so. Aki <laughs> berry is also an excellent, which are antioxidants that protects the cells from oxidation and provide protection from free radicals. Okay. So I wanted to just jump on tonight just to give you guys that what we're putting inside of our body is a mere reflection of what's happening on our, in our scalps. And even if you have clients that are coming to you, even with alopecia and, um, you know, um, I'm not going to say chemotherapy, but I know a lot of times with traction alopecia and androgenetic alopecia we have a lot of things that are going on with the body okay it's in, internal um, or it's auto it could be also autoimmune so you want to just make sure that you have a healthy diet and also a good supplement um, I can't really like say this is what you need to do I can only make it as a suggestion so um, if you want to do whole foods that's great but there are some people that don't mind taking you know their vitamins through pill form and um, but I say whatever source of supplements that you can get in your body so that your hair can grow natural and it can also grow um, healthy and, and your follicles can be healthy as well is to get a a great source of nutrients in your body okay and make sure that your um liver and blood is working right uh, make sure you detox your system um some of the things that we put in if you're i don't know i don't drink uh but if you're a drinker you need to detox your body you need to it's coming out of your pores um you know and so forth on and your skin will start to look fresh your hair will start to look gorgeous and for those of you who are dealing with and uh, alopecia while you're under um you know your um uh, i call it my 90 day challenge hair rejuvenation but if you're up under a hair rejuvenation challenge i would suggest that you wear a custom wig something that is customized for you so that you can um go through this process and you know you won't have to give up uh, on it because it can be you know dra dragging and things like that and it can take some time so i just wanted to jump on tonight just to thank you guys for joining i wanted to jump on tonight just to share with you that what we're putting on the inside of our body is a mere reflection april yes a mere reflection of what's coming out and guys listen i wanted to have you guys join me on april the 9th with miss cynthia online i will be doing a hair scope um at um Narcosco's in atlanta georgia and i'm really excited about this opportunity um i have another some other things that's going on this month but i am so happy about april the 9th i'm able to share with you live hair scope as well and um you guys can see that actually in raw form what's going on you can have any questions that you guys uh, will have will be scoped 
scoping uh, by way of Periscope, of course, and we'll answer any of your questions. Checking the scalp of one of our our guests, absolutely. So we're going to have a special guest that's going to be selected. So I hope you guys can join us that day that you will be selected to, you know, uh, get a hair scope and um, some uh, some great information. So I thank you guys again. Watch out. Join me on Facebook and also Instagram. I'm going to be posting that flyer so you guys can, um, you know, jump on and, and celebrate with us. All right. Thank you so much for jumping on. For those of you again who know me, I'm Tanisha Bibbs, licensed cosmetologist, educator, and certified hair loss practitioner. Thanks for the info. You're so welcome, D. Collins. I greatly appreciate you guys. And I will see you back tomorrow. And guess what? Got some great news. I'm going to be scoping during the daytime. I'm going to do a couple of scopes. It might not be every day, but I will come on and do some, uh, you know, some hair nuggets um, during the daytime as well. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.